For more than 40 years, the British rock band, the Moody Blues, has been part of our musical landscape. They've sold more than 70 million albums, and one of the musicians has a connection to Napa. ABC7 Arts and Entertainment reporter Don Sanchez was there when he uncorked it today. A Moody Blues musical classic, and there's a new classic with roots in Napa. John Lodge, the group's bassist and vocalist, is launching his new boutique blend called Chris Emma, named after his two children. He discovered the wine country in 1968. And that, to me, is probably one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen in the world. Yeah, the first song uh, was a Go Now in 1964. The Moody Blues were part of the second wave of the British invasion in the 60s. But the British invasion really was sort of popular music, and the Moody Blues was something slightly different. They came to America with just two concerts booked with Bill Graham at Fillmore East and West. But the big problem was there was two months between the two concerts, <laughs> so we had to fill all the other shows in. So we wandered around America picking up dates anywhere. They developed lasting fans and solidified their creativity, always innovating. Nights and white sides, yeah. Their album Days of Future Past Never is revolutionary, a rock band and a symphony based on Dvorak's New World Symphony. And when we played it back, they said, well, this isn't exactly what we wanted. But a classical and a pop producer saw it was totally different and helped create a landmark album. Can we Touring again, 35 concerts in two months. And after more than 45 years, the Moody Blues are still not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Doesn't seem right. In Sausalito, Don Sanchez.